The 16th century Protestant Reformation caused a schism in the Catholic Church. Figures such as King Henry VIII, John Calvin, and Martin Luther were leaders of the break from the church. Pope Paul III initiated the Council of Trent in 1545, which reasserted doctrine of the seven sacraments, including penance. One woman became an example for all. Pope Gregory the Great had declared Mary Magdalene both a sinner and a saint. Similarly, during the Counter-Reformation, she was used as an example of a sinner who through penance was forgiven. Mary Magdalene had been the subject of paintings for countless years, but during the Counter-Reformation, many depictions of her changed. Titian, had painted Mary Magdalene in 1531, before as a nude. When he revisited the subject in later years, because of the Counter-Reformation's strict requirements of decorum, Titian added a shawl to cover Mary, and also a skull and book. Counter-Reformation artists, like Caravaggio, developed new motifs in defense of the Council of Trent and responding to the criticism from Protestant reformers. These motifs included Mary Magdalene being heavily or completely clothed, and objects that suggested she was discarding sin from her life, like the pearls on the ground. The female artist, Artemisia Gentileschi, depicted Mary Magdalene with similar motifs. The penitential Mary thrived, and she became a symbol of the devotion to the sacrament of penance. The objects that are included with Mary in these paintings, especially the skull, were telling of the emphasis that Catholic reformers put on the concept of death. In this Counter-Reformation piece, entitled The Repentant Magdalene, Mary Magdalene is seated and pensive. Her left hand touches the skull, which is resting on top of the Book of Life, two symbols of Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene gazes into the mirror. However, the viewer sees the skull. Instead of looking directly at Mary Magdalene, we're invited to be one with her and to act as she does and contemplate. Mary Magdalene is a relatable figure, both from her sinfulness and her desire to be forgiven. The Church looked to her during the Counter-Reformation to be a model for those who had strayed and to emphasize the importance of the Sacrament of Penance.